guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you guys can kind of tell by the title of the video, it will be a more serious video. I have promised to put this one up um, and it's something that I do think is very important so I thought I would just go ahead and discuss it today and that is personal safety in the workplace. Um, this is a question that I do get asked quite a bit and as a female especially, I think that it is a very, very, very important topic and something that um, it is important. It is something that we worry about not just as girls as guys as well um, everyone's personal safety is extremely important and with the airline that I work for I don't have any doubt when I go to work when I'm on the plane I never feel uncomfortable or feel unsafe but I know some people do question it just because obviously um, you guys watch the news uh, you you see that airports are targeted sometimes like with bombings or with more serious events like that they're trying to hurt a large group of people so personal safety is something that you don't need to just expect someone else to constantly be giving it to you you need to watch out for yourself and do things to protect yourself as well so um, I have taken notes for this one I, I've had these in my bag for quite a bit um, but I just kind of added some things to it that I thought was important um, what kind of triggered this was for me was when I was in Minnesota, I learned how to use the bus for the very first time. Um, I was so used to having my own car, driving myself to work, uh, back and forth to school, that type of thing. So I'd already like kind of gained that sense of independence. But with taking the bus, it's like I had to rely on the bus to be there on time to get me from point A to point B. Um, it was kind of just a stressful process putting my crew bags on top of the bus, um, having to deal with the people that were on there, staring, asking questions etc especially since I would be in uniform a lot uh, since I was going to work but that like instances that would happen on the bus kind of triggered me to just be on guard more be more aware of my surroundings the people that I'm interacting with the things that I'm telling them in my head I was like I, you know I don't want anyone following me seeing me seeing where I live uh, going back to my crash pad that type of thing um, so one thing that is very important is making sure that someone does know where you are at all times now this is something that I don't really have ever I've never really thought twice about it because I'm constantly in contact with people close to me so they always know where I am especially now that I do this with being a flight attendant with being on the go so much um so I had my notifications like my location turned on so my best friend can see exactly where I am anywhere in the state anywhere in the world um they always have my location and that is something that you can do if you do have an iPhone I'm not sure about other cell services but um on my particular phone you can turn your location services on as well as checking in making sure hey you know I'm gonna be here later on I should be here for a couple hours I have this layover in this city um, and make sure that it's someone who's close to you and that you do trust in case anything were to happen um, they would have like your location and kind of have a general uh, idea of where you're supposed to be so I always make sure that I'm constantly uh, contacting people that I love um, and just like letting them know I'm okay and where I am um, let's see uh, another thing when you're on your layovers and when you're on um, you know, wherever, vacation even, and just in another city, don't wander around and look lost. Now, I see this happen all the time, especially girls. They won't know where they are, and it's so obvious that they're not from there and that they don't, you know, have a clue as to where they're going, and it's just, it's not, it's, I, I know some people can't help it, but it's just like, looking like that makes you a target if you're just wandering around and you're taking pictures of everything and like if somebody is watching you they see that they think okay they're not from around here and they can take advantage of that situation so de definitely keep that in mind it might seem like a paranoia type because I'm not the type to just anytime I go anywhere constantly just be on the watch out thinking someone's out to get me I don't mean that at all but I'm saying just being aware of it and if something happened um, having different methods to be able to get out of your situation quickly. Just make sure you're aware of yourself at all times, especially as a girl. Um, this is something, ooh, sorry, I have a bag sitting here. Um, this is something that as a crew member that I always do, if I'm going to leave the layover, like anytime I go to Dallas, I always am going to meet up with family or they might come to me, whatever. I give my phone number to a crew member just in case we get separated, something happens. I had an instance one time where our pickup time got delayed because the, the plane coming in hit 
really bad weather and we ended up having to stay in the city for another five hours so I contacted my crew and let them know hey you guys hang out in the hotel don't even worry about coming down to the van I'll call for a new one you know things like that it's just nice to constantly have that open communication contact your crew you guys know everyone is safe I've been called in my room before um, by crew members you know I'll give them my room number just so they can say hey you know I'm about to go out um, I'm from the city, going with my family, etc. Just, you know, little things like that to let everyone know you guys are fine. Um, I have, oh wait, I put that on, that was my next one, give my cell phone number to crew members. Um, another thing is when you're checking into the hotel, this is a small one, but it's something that I just, I feel like it's a good tip. Um, if you are in the lobby and it's just the crew, it's not a big deal, but if like it's really crowded or it's a very touristy area, let's say you're going to Vegas and you're in an area and you, you are writing down, um, who's going to be in what room, make sure you just write your initial and then your last name like don't give out your full name if somebody asks oh what's your room number write it down don't yell it out and say oh hey everybody I'm in room 410 then that lets everyone in the lobby know oh that girl right there in 410 they have your last name um, so just be aware of the personal information that you're giving out even on the elevator um, or escalator whatever the case might be if somebody else is in there that's not crew or that you feel uncomfortable with don't give any personal information out and if you do give information out and you feel like someone's listening make sure it's it's not correct information just to throw that person off um, I have flown with girls that have especially foreign um, locations where they go down to the pool or whatever alone just to read a book get a drink you know be on their phone etc and then they've had people watching them or try to ask them you know where are you from I know you're not from around here what hotel are you, st are you staying at this hotel you know what are you doing later and it's just kind of like strange just don't give out information obviously to strangers that you don't want them knowing don't disclose that um don't dress flashy don't have your badge out because that does have information on it uh, personal information don't show that to anyone just make sure you keep those things hidden even whenever I'm just working and on the plane I never have my badge out because it has my first middle and last name on it so it's no need for anyone to know my last name and then my first name is on my badge I also opted out of having my badge put I mean my last name put on my badge because I feel like you can address me as Ashley there's there's really no reason for you to know my last name on the plane even if there was a problem you know if you needed to write me up or say oh my gosh that flight attendant did this to me you could say Ashley and then they can track it down to my particular flight my particular you know flight number whatever so there's no need for anyone to ever know your last name or give that out um pepper spray this was one that I had on my list originally but I actually had my pepper spray confiscated um I had been selected to be the random person that was their crew member or whatever this is the only time it's ever happened and I had had it in there I'm not gonna lie for since my maybe maybe once maybe three months into the job I had it I had had it in there for so long and I never took it out I just always kept it with me and she was like this is a prohibited item and they were gonna do something like it was gonna be a security threat type thing but then they saw that I was crew member and it kind of got toned down a little bit and they let me go but they did take it so we're not actually allowed to have pepper spray um this is a gray area because a lot of flight attendants do carry pepper spray they do carry mace um knives <laughs> you know that type of thing for personal safety obviously we're not going to pull something like that out on the plane um it's not an area I definitely I don't feel comfortable like addressing or going into further detail on if it's right for you to carry it and just have it confiscated or if you should or shouldn't because some prohibited items granted do still go through so that is between you and your airline definitely contact your manager or someone higher up if you were in an instance where you just didn't feel safe and it was something you thought you definitely needed to have um yeah I'm not the one to answer that question for you do what makes you comfortable but definitely check with your superiors about that I will leave that alone. Um, I did have this, ha I will have it talk about a few instances that happened as well. I had a TSA person and I, I, I saw his face all the time. Um, you know, didn't even really think anything of it because in crew checkout, we have to show our badge, show identification, whatever. And he was like, he knew my name and where I was from. Like, ju I just saw him in the airport. But I wasn't, he wasn't in, in regular clothes. So I was thinking, who was that that saw me, that knew my first and last name, that knew where I was born? Like, what in the world? So just be careful even, too, of, of people that are 
exposed to your identity and you don't have a choice like obviously I have to show the gate agent my badge when I'm going to check in for the flight I can't refuse to do that you know so just be aware of how much information you are giving out some things you obviously cannot help but always if you do feel uncomfortable notify someone let somebody else know hey this person is acting a little strange because it better safe than sorry always um, I did talk about in a previous video, I had a ramp guy who got my badge, um, or no, he got my cell phone number off of my crew tags, um, and it was nothing that I could really do about that. Someone actually did recommend, and thank you for that. You can get Google, like a, there's a Google app that you can get that allows you to have an, another number that's not your personal cell phone number, um, and you can use that, so I could, I'm going to actually sign up for that and put that number on my bag, so if they do call it, it's not like they have my real cell phone number. Just in case I need to be contacted. Um, this, is, this sounds so creepy. But there have been instances where passengers have followed flight attendants like out of the terminal um, into like whatever city we might be in at the time and followed them. Um, obviously we get on the van together and then we leave. So it's kind of like a hard thing. But there have been very, very few times where we've had a flight and then the passengers off that flight get in the same um hotel van as us and then go to this back to the same hotel as us that has not happened often to me where i've noticed it but it has happened a few times where they're like oh you were a flight attendant blah 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 but it was never an instance where there was a problem and as i said always notify somebody if you do feel uncomfortable or if you think something suspicious or weird always okay I had a crew, I wrote this down, but I don't really like do it. I had a crew member who actually told me not to sleep naked whenever you're in your room because if there was a fire drill and you had to get out quickly, um, like if there was an emergency, then you, you know, you'd have to put your clothes on first and then before you ran out. So she was like, don't ever do that. Um, this is going there. I'm going to do a part two on this video because there is more to this. Um, but I thought that this would be, you know, a good initial video to put up and then I'm gonna kind of check the comments and see what you guys are chatting about for the next one so thank you all once again for joining me um I do hope you all are following me on my social media my Instagram my Snapchat my Twitter at the Ashley Banks I'll have that all linked down below as well as my second channel it's Ashley um if you're viewing this on a laptop you can actually go in the top right corner and click all the links to get to my social media as well as if you don't have Instagram or if you don't have Twitter you can still view my accounts um because I do have all my pages open just in case you don't have those but thank you once again for joining me um we are growing as a channel welcome to my new subscribers congratulations to everyone who's in training now who got their CJ cjos who's going to be coming out on the line in a few months um i'm very proud of you guys i wish you all the best of luck um and yeah i'll see you in my next one Bye. <laughs>